Hey, Caitlin, how are you? Hi, I'm doing really good. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. I will start by saying I've always hoped for that I'd get to talk to you because you're in one of my favourite films. So uh, that's all oh good. Oh my God, thank you for saying that. Yeah, uh, Short Term 12. Short Term 12, I was going to ask which which yeah. which movie. Oh, Do you get that a lot, Short Term 12? I'm, uh, short term 12 is so deeply loved by so many people it makes me so happy because i'm so proud of destin and what he's been up to over the years and brie and lakeith and rami and it's just truly like that, that everybody is like Bree, that, it's that crazy <laughs> <laughs> i know i'm so proud of everybody I, gosh i did that movie when i was 14 wow 10 years a ago. While ago but yes yeah. it, still, it still holds up uh on to <laughs> on dope sick congratulations yeah. on dope sick thank you um it's a really i mean i was just talking to will uh about this and uh, we as brits weren't really kind of you know we knew some of what was going on but not quite as how deep and how you know kind of it was all over the place and how bad this situation was so uh, did you know much about it beforehand because i know you're you know you've been over there and it was part of the you know part of history the modern yeah. history because like, i didn't i knew i'm shockingly little once i'd watched the show well surprisingly and i think that this is a big reason why i wanted to be a part of it was actually you know living and growing up in the in the u.s i still didn't know much about it at all i knew obviously it existed i probably knew about the same uh, as much as you did i knew it existed i didn't know about the injustice of it all i didn't know about the purdue pharma and sackler i didn't know about purdue pharma i didn't know about sackler family and i uh and in talking to a lot of my uh, friends ab about this, they they also are, don't didn't know about it, and uh, it has it's a it's it has been um, an issue and a case that's just been buried uh, and doesn't really get talked about. And when I spoke to Danny about it for the first time, it was very clear to me that he had just so much passion for telling this story and bringing these characters to life and um shedding light on um you know this 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 issue and that he gets to finally you know uncover a lot of truth with with our show and he was very he just like he used i we need to tell this story and people need to learn and know about this yeah and i, I believe that uh, your character betsy is kind of an amalgamation of a few different people so when you spoke to danny about portraying her did he kind of give you a, a, an examples of the you know the other people that he was trying to you know the families and everything else he was trying to get into betsy and what he was trying to say with her as a character yes there was a couple of interviews he sent me even before my self-tape that i that i had listened to um but yes she her character is a fictional character but it does she does represent um you know, a large group of people um, and the type of people that were targeted at the beginning of the epidemic. And uh, I, you know, that that made it um, even more um, nerve wracking. And I really put the pressure on myself to make sure that I was doing it right, because I know how important it was that I that I did um, you know, do this character justice because she does represent so many. And it's a testament to Danny's work and the subject matter that this show has been able to bring on all these amazing talents yourself, Will Poulter, Michael Keaton, Peter Sarsgaard. And I, 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 I'm, I'm going to hazard the guess that you all were so um, drawn into it and so wanted to tell this story that that's why you all wanted to kind of get involved because it usually showcases how important a project is when so many amazing filmmakers and actors want to want to be part of it. Oh yeah, totally. I, 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 uh, I remember talking to Will about it um, and how we were just geeking out over the fact that we get to, you know, that we got to be in a show like this. Um, it was very clear. I mean, that energy was very clear on set that we were all coming together and collaborating and making something really, really, really special and something that we all felt was going to be very eye opening for um, the audience to see and and for and the fact that it's going to be seen by you know a wide range of people on hulu and disney plus it's it's a it's a really really um important story and uh but you could definitely feel that energy on set i mean everybody had so much um passion for this story and uh you know even while we were um making it we were 
shooting it in Virginia, where this, you know, you know, where a lot of our story actually originally um, took place in history. So it felt really, uh, it's very visceral and it was very, um, just it, the whole process was really, really moving too. It was really, really cool. Yeah. And just finally, obviously, you, you I always like seeing you in the things. I, I had the luxury of talking to your new on screen dad a couple of days ago because he's also in London, Mr. Clooney. <laughs> you did? I did, yes. How yeah. is he? I've not met him yet. I, he's so effort, effortlessly cool, that man, honestly. Oh my God. Um, I know you've mentioned before about the fact that him and Julie Roberts are playing your parents in your new film. Have you have you got your head or still kind of having that around your head as this in on screen? Those two are going to be playing my parents. <laughs> nope i don't know what i'm going to do it's one thing if I, I keep saying this but it's one thing to just be in a movie with one of them yeah you know but it's almost like rihanna and asap rocky it's like they can't both be it's just too much it's too much to take on <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's a, it's a, like a, not a world ending, ending event, but like there's so much pull between those two that there would be some. It's sort an overload. Of, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm really excited. I truly can't wait to meet the both of them. Um, and that I get to do another movie with Billy Lord and she plays my best friend in the movie. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm also freaking out at the same time. I still haven't processed it. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see it. That's going to be thank really you. exciting. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you. Oh, thank you so much. Take care. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? Yeah, indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You 